Hi, I'm Jordan Wilson with Caster Headquarters and today I'm going to talk about our polyurethane on cast iron wheels. Polyurethane on cast iron wheels are one of the most popular wheel in the caster industry. There's a few reasons these wheels are really popular. To start, they're extremely affordable, yet they're very heavy duty, easy to roll, non-marking, chemical, oil, and water resistant. So overall, this is a really good wheel for a huge variety of applications, whether it's used at your garage, at your house, or whether it's used in an industrial warehouse for a commercial application. So these wheels are gonna last a very long time, hold a lot of capacity, they're non-marking, and overall, it's just a really good choice for a wheel. A few features of these wheels, uh, to start off with, we offer two colors. We offer a red on silver cast iron core, and we offer a green tread on a black core. All of our polyurethane on iron wheels are actually gonna come with grease fittings in the hub of the wheel right there. What that's gonna allow you to do is grease the roller bearing that's inside of the wheel. But if you actually buy this in a complete caster, which most people do, our casters are actually gonna come with a Zerk axle where you really won't need to use this grease fitting. It can just be used as a backup in case the grease fitting on your axle happens to fall off. You basically will have two grease fittings, one in the axle that will grease the roller bearing and one in the hub of the wheel. Now, to talk about this wheel a little bit, the durometer, which is the hardness of the wheel, is a 95 Shore A durometer. So it's a pretty hard durometer, but at the same time, it's still soft enough to protect your concrete floors from scratches. So this is not gonna scratch your floor compared to a harder durometer wheel, such as a steel wheel or a phenolic wheel that could potentially cause damage to your floors. So this wheel is heavy duty, affordable, non-marking, non-staining, like I said, it's one of the best wheels and most commonly used wheels in the caster industry. We offer poly on iron wheels in many different sizes. Uh, for example, in the two inch wide tread widths like this one, we start off with the smallest diameter being a three and a quarter diameter, going all the way up to an eight inch diameter by two inch tread width. Now, we also offer heavier duty poly on iron casters. And I'll show you an example of one. And those start off with a six by two and a half going up to a three inch tread width with a diameter going all the way up to a 12 inch diameter by three inch tread width. I actually have one here. <coughs> oh, I hope I have workers comp because this bad boy is heavy. This is a 12 by three. So, I mean, this thing weighs, whew, I don't know. I want to say at least 30 pounds, maybe a little bit more. But uh, this is the same design. This has a grease fitting in the hub, and we're gonna put a really large one inch roller bearing in this wheel with a spanner bushing. You're gonna get a Zerk axle as well. So when you buy this in a caster, you will have two grease points as well. This 12 by three polyon steel or polyon iron wheel holds 3,500 pounds per wheel. So it is a very heavy duty, yet very affordable wheel when you're comparing apples to apples with another similar wheel material or caster on the market. We do see polyurethane on steel wheels used in a lot of applications. And one of the most common applications we sell these for would be our two inch wide wheels. And a lot of people like at home DIYers have toolboxes or work tables, work benches, and they simply want a really sleek, cool looking bright red or green wheel on their equipment. And so they'll either replace their casters, the current wheels that are on their toolbox, or their cart, or a work table or workbench. Now you also have these used in the industrial marketplace, like on different type of carts, flatbed carts, tugger carts, uh, many different types of carts in the industrial use. And uh, again, these can be outfitted with a three quarter roller bearing, which is standard, or you can upgrade to a sealed precision ball bearing on the two inch wides, which is going to allow you to roll it a little bit easier. The initiation of the rollability of the cart is gonna be a little bit easier to initiate. Um, and it's gonna be maintenance free. You won't need to grease or lubricate that bearing because it has sealed precision ball bearings. And it's gonna roll a little bit quieter if you upgrade to a precision bearing. 
but if it's a really heavy load, I still recommend just keeping the standard three quarter roller bearings that come in the two inch wide wheels. That's going to distribute the weight a little bit evenly. It's gonna be a little bit safer and it's gonna be able to handle those heavy loads a lot easier than a sealed precision ball bearing. But if you're not maximizing or maxing out the load capacity of your application, but it's still a heavy load and you just want a little bit easy, easier rollability and ergonomics, then you can upgrade to a sealed precision ball bearing. If you go to our website and add the complete caster to your cart or even the wheel, click on the product page of the size you want. On the right hand side, there is a menu that allows you to select the bearing option that you want. The three quarter roller bearing is free and it's included in the price of the wheel. And then you can click a drop down menu on the right hand side of each product page and you can select the sealed precision ball bearings if you decide to go with that type of bearing. Well, this pretty much covers the polyurethane on iron wheels. If you guys have any more questions, please feel free to shoot us an email. Our email is info at casterhq.com. You can visit our website, casterhq.com, or you can comment below on this YouTube video and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks for watching.